am the music man. I come from far away and I could play. Hey, what can you play? I play the guitar. Of course you can. Hello, I'm Teo. And I'm Colin. Hi. Colin is an amazing singer, songwriter and musician and he's showing me some of his instruments. And this is the guitar. Now you play the guitar by picking or strumming these strings and down the other end here you can put your fingers in different places and play different notes. Sounds great. <laughs> oh, there's more. Uh, if you use fingers together, you can play notes at the same time, and that's called a chord. And if you put your fingers in different places, it plays different chords. That's awesome. You play other instruments too, don't you, Colin? Ah, yes, I do, actually, and in fact, I'll tell you, I have one right here, right now. Where? It's back here. Hang on, wait a minute. It's called... I'll turn him around. A harmonica. Yeah, and uh, sometimes they're called a mouth organ. Could you play the harmonica for us? Oh, OK. Here I go. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Have you ever heard someone play the harmonica before? It's such a unique sound. Oh. Hang on. I've spotted something. You're not strumming it like you did with the guitar. You're just blowing air into it. I have a question. How does the harmonica make sound? Well... I could tell you, or I could show you. That sounds more fun. Let's investigate. Come on, it's science time. For this experiment, you'll need two popsicle sticks or tongue depressors, baking paper, tissue paper, or tracing paper, scissors, and sticky tack. Welcome to the science time lab. Are you ready to experiment? <laughs> I'm thinking... Hmm, maybe I could use these two popsicle sticks and some baking paper to show you how a harmonica really works. Let's begin the experiment. Now, uh, first we need two popsicle sticks, the large ones. Yeah. Oh, you might have seen these at the doctor's. They're called tongue depressors and they use them to look inside your mouth like this. Ah, uh, well, oh, you mind if I have a look? Ah, uh, yes. Ah, you seem very healthy. Ah. Uh, actually, could you give me one more? Ah. Ah. Ah, yes, I can see your tonsils there wiggling and jiggling oh, around there, oh. having a great time. Ah. Ah. Thank <laughs> you, Dr. Colin. Uh, I think good. I might need a clean one now. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah but, but, but we also need uh, now two popsicle sticks and baking paper. Now, we need to cut a strip of baking paper a little bit longer than the popsicle stick. Easy. OK. Oh, no, so, no. snip, snip, yep. snip. And that baking paper is going to go inside the popsicle sticks so it can wiggle and jiggle around and, I hope, make a noise. Ooh, OK. All right. Now, uh, oh, in fact, you know what? If you uh, touch your throat like that, your vocal cords move when you sing or talk. Try this. Ah. Uh... Can you uh, try that? Uh, uh, can you feel the vibrations? Uh, hmm. OK. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, on with it. Now, uh, we need the sticks to be just far enough apart so that the baking paper can move up and down um, between them and make a sound. Oh, is that what the tack's for? Yes, the tack's, yep, thank you. Uh, so, let's try it. A uh, piece of tack here, mm -hmm. and a piece of tack here, mm -hmm. and a piece of tack there, and the last one there. Now our piece of baking paper goes on top. Mm -hmm. Press, nice and tight, whoop, and the other stick on top like that. Ah! 
Let's experiment. Let's experiment. What will we see? Maybe we'll make a discovery. It's, it's time for science. Science. Yes. And scientifically, science. maybe we'll make a discovery. Tech goes on the ends. Paper in the middle. Squeeze the sticks together. What will we hear? You and me. Let's experiment. Let's experiment. What will we see? Maybe we'll make a discovery. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shall we give it a try? Oh, I don't know what'll happen. <gasps> They sound really good. A little they different do. from your harmonica, yeah. but they really make sound. They do. <laughs> Let's see what we've discovered. Colin, can you tell us how our popsicle harmonicas can make sound just like your real harmonica? Ah, uh, yes. Well, I've got my harmonica here. You see, when I play my harmonica, I blow through it. But inside, if you have a look very carefully, you'll see that there are lots and lots of little reeds. And those reeds wiggle and jiggle around when I blow. And that wiggling and jiggling is called a vibration, and vibrations are the sounds that we hear. Yeah. Oh, and it's the same for the popsicle harmonica? Well, yes, but it's only got one reed. Mm -hmm. Have a look. The reed is the baking paper and then it wheels and jiggles and vibrates between the popsicle sticks and that's what makes the sound. Oh. I'll do it on my one, ready? Wow, that's <laughs> really clever. So our ears hear the vibrations. Yes, yes. In fact, that's all music is, whether it's uh, reeds or strings or the air inside different instruments vibrating or the air vibrating on our vocal cords when we sing. Oh, Love you that. really are the music man. Come on, sing with us too. Yes. I am the music man. I come from far away and I can play. What can you play? I play the harmonica. Here I go. I am a music man. I come from far away and I can play. What can you play? I play the popsicle harmonica. the most amazing thing I've ever heard. Yeah, I know. I think we should take this thing home, ready? Mm. We are the music men. We come from far away and we can play. What can we play? We play together. Thanks so much for joining us today, Colin, and telling us all about sound vibrations and how a harmonica works. I've loved it. It's been a pleasure. Thanks. Maybe you'd like to make a popsicle harmonica. <gasps> yes, or sing with your friends. So discover your way with some science time today. Bye-bye. Bye. Take it away. <gasps>